Right, so now I'm going to be learning you how to make your own grey wash. So what we've got here is, I've got a box of gloves, we've got a bottle of purified water which you can grab from your local chemist, we've got a jug which is sterilised and we've got some clear ink bottles which I got from Killer Ink Tattoo Supplies. Now I've just stuck my own labels on. See I've got five bottles here going from extra dark, dark, medium, light and extra light. And we've got some tissue which we're going to start with putting down just then we don't get any mess everywhere and that way it'll soak up any of the water that we manage to spill right perfect so we're going to start with the extra dark bottle here. And what we're using is dynamic black ink, just plain black ink that you can get from most supplies. And we're going to fill that right to the top. There we are. And that's that bottle finished with now, so we won't need that anymore. And we're going to tip that into the jug, all of it. There we go. Then This is the tricky bit here, is filling the same bottle with purified water. And that's just gone right to the top as well. There we are. Right, now that goes into the jug. And we'll put that there. one of these which is a tongue depressor just to mix it up just like that and then this gets poured back into the same bottle so the extra dark There we are, and that's our extra dark done. So now we go on to the dark, and we're just going to fill that full to the top again with water. There we are, and into the jug. Give it a stir, and then into the dark. Now if you've noticed 
I've stuck the labels on beforehand because there is times where I've forgotten and that obviously leaves a very confusing job of trying to figure out which shades are what when they're done. So yeah, make sure you stick the labels on beforehand. There we are. Right, now onto the medium. So same again, the medium up, fill that right to the top. Into the jug. Give it a stir. And then back. Now if you've noticed as well, there is a pattern here. So literally, it is just a bottle of water, each bottle, and that mixes it down. We're on to the light next. And there we have it, that's the light. Now, onto the last one, the last bottle, which is extra light. Now, the best thing about this grey wash is, obviously, every time it is perfectly consistent. A lot of people use um, drop black in the ink pot and wash it down by water, um, but I just don't see how it's the same every time. Whereas this, you can't go wrong. You can use any black ink. I've now, I've found Dynamics the best to use. It mixes with the water and makes the shades perfect um, but yeah and there we have it now this all gets discarded we have a little bit left in the jug, a bottle's worth but that just gets chucked and there we have it Extra dark, dark, medium, light, and extra light. Now, you can buy pre made grey wash sets um, off all the supplies. This way just works out to be a lot cheaper. Um, grey wash sets can work around, you know, from £50 right up to £100. Whereas this only costs us for the bottles, water, and obviously the black ink, which works out to be around £25. And that way you get a full wash set. Um, I find that when you put it in the skin as well, a lot of grey washes that can heal down a lot lighter. Whereas with this method, what you put in is what you get. It heals very close to how you put it in which is what I love about it. It's absolutely perfect. There we go, spot on.
And there we have it. That is our grey wash complete. Um, now this is the black that I use. World famous legendary outlining black. And this is, so this is the order that I have it. So I have lining black, the black that I use, and the shades. Now these are all obviously the same black which we've just mixed but this here I like to use a different black and that just gives it a bit of separation for the solid black areas. Um, I like it because it blends into these really well but it also stands out as the black area. Now a lot of people do just use dynamic as the black which you can. I just This is just my personal preference. Um, I find that it's a very matte black, a very deep black as well. Um, it sits really nice and dense in the skin. Whereas the dynamic, I really like for lining and the shades, but not for the deep black. Um, now you can use any grey wash sets that you like. I'd recommend world famous grey wash set or a dynamic grey wash set which I've got an example here so if it is that you don't want to mix your own you can just buy sets that are already pre-made like this this one comes in just four bottles which is a similar kind of method so 80, 60, 40, 20 um, just like the extra dark, dark, medium light and extra light and I'd say they're around yeah in between 50 and 80 pounds for the set um, but if you're not so comfortable to start making these yourself you can just buy the sets you know and there we have it